Pakistani boy right here, Shavir. What's up, man? How you doing? Up, bro? Thank you. So happy you guys are over here. Good morning, guys. It's your boy Ahmed, aka Firecase from Hunza right now, and we just woke up, and I want to show you guys the beautiful water. I know I've been showing you guys this a lot, but the light just hit it, and it is absolutely beautiful. It is so clear. We're about to have some breakfast right now, and I can't tell you how amazing Hunza Valley is, and everything around it is just so much beauty in Pakistan that you don't see on media and we're showing it to you live over here and let's see what else we get into but geez man look at this oh wow look at that right there beauty man oh man I don't I, once again I know I said the videos don't do it justice but it is just so beautiful and not a lot of people come here even if you're Pakistani you don't really come out here just because it's such a long flight or drive but regardless, man, I'm really happy I can check this off the bucket list. We have made it to our hotel room and I wanna show you guys the views. My goodness, my goodness. This, like literally, this is the bed right here. And as you look out, full 180 glass of just pure scenery. My goodness, look at this, guys. It looks absolutely amazing. Man, and then you have the balcony right here. Ooh Man, this is so nice. Drink your cup of chai right here. You have all that scenery. If you really wanted to escape, this is what it would look like. We got the snow up there as well. We got Adam in here. No. And I'll show up the bathtub that we're all gonna be in tonight. It's definitely tonight. We're all gonna be getting the jacuzzi, you know, so chill vibes. 100%. I just got finished with breakfast and I wanted to show you what I was eating but I was so hungry and the food was so good it kind of missed out. If you guys go on my Instagram story on the highlight reel of Pakistan you guys can see the view that I ate with but let me just show you like right now there's budgie right there but this is like this is what we're eating with like literally I sat right here had my halwa puri and just like looked out of this beauty my goodness also guys i want to let you know we are 8,000 feet above land and that is why while we're walking we get so out of breath but like you guys can see like we're really literally on top of the mountain there's a lake right there there's snow on top and that's why when we walk like even for like 30 seconds we get out of breath i think it's oh right here you are 8,000 feet not your stamina it's the altitude because everybody could not breathe and imagine training here for any type of sports jeez you'll come out as a beast guys adam and oh wow he's making bollywood tiktoks <laughs> jeez look at that wow all right one time for the one time last time seeing this view adam how'd you like this place and this is the most beautiful place i've ever seen in my life after the kaaba Oh wow, mashallah. After the Kaaba, seriously, this is... Man, they don't show this side of Pakistan in the media or anything. You never, you, did you even know this existed in Pakistan? Honestly, I never knew in my life that this was like in Pe Pakistan. I people, swear to God. People in Pakistan don't even like venture up here. So it's like... This is like in Google images, you know. Now we're seeing it in real life. And we were the first ones here, right? <laughs> we're the first ones here. Yeah, coming. exactly. Gonna come here. Everyone's going to come here now. <laughs> and they're still making it even better. But mashallah. What a Damn, I'm not looking forward to the three-hour ride right now in the mountains, man. I love make it easy, brother. I love I love make it easy. Guys, we are at Gilgit Airport. This is my first time taking a domestic flight in Pakistan. I love make it easy. Guys, I wish the United States airports were like the Pakistani airports. We didn't even like care about what, how many baggage we put there. Like, all right, just put it in. Security was just chill. And alhamdulillah, like it was just so easy. I would fly more if it was that easy to go through the whole airport process. Oh, dead the chai. You're taking the chai on the plane. They yeah, served boy. us, bro. Man, look at this. You got the mountains in the back. We got the plane. Mashallah, this is this is an experience for sure. Assalamu alaikum. Oh wow. Oh, Pakistani. Yeah, it's the same thing as everywhere else. Come on, already? You're already pushing it back? Come on, man. Try to relax, bro. Come on, already? Guys, we are inside of the PIA. This is my first time inside a PIA oh. domestic flight. Oh, so we got let's chai. Say, we got chai, literally. We got chai, here. we got chai here. They served us. Like, yeah. this is the. If, if flying was like this, it, it, I would fly way more. This yeah. is so much easier to fly like this, right? Yo, PIA is. I love PIA, man. Bro, you give you food, up. you can bring food, you can bring chai. chai in the Yo, PIA is amazing. Yeah, well, yeah, amazing. Mashallah. The, the service is so good, it's so friendly. Yeah, it's so you know, easy. 
Yeah. This chai is fantastic. Yeah. This chai is fantastic. <laughs> First time in a propeller plane. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it's a little small plane, but we only have one hour flight, so inshallah it goes well. May Allah make it easy. Allah make it easy. Guys, look at the mountains over here. My goodness. They even gave us full size water bottles. Please, American Airlines or all the United States Airlines, do this. I finished mine already, but this is clutch. After the flight, we have made it to Lahore. Guys, we're at Anad Khalid Bazaar right now. It is absolutely hectic. But it, this is where... My goodness, man. There's so many honks and just everything. Oh my god, Adam almost just got hit. You good, Adam? How many motorcycles, bro? Everywhere. There's more motorcycles than humans. The guys are holding hands in Pakistan. The guys are... You know what that means? That means you're best, best friends here. Best friends here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You hold pinkies though, they do pinkies. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 like this. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, this means you're your friend, best friends. Oh, yeah, mashallah, brother. It's like he's 10. It's I'm dead. Dead. Guys, while I'm in Lahore, I definitely have to shop and get some. Yeah, I need to go to shop for, you know, it's how Saudi girl's uh, birthday coming up. So I'm gonna look and see if I can get anything for her. But, um, inshallah, let me get it. Guys, should I get her jewelry? I have no idea. We got bangles right here. Some jewelry, I'll make it easy. These are also other bangles that I can get her. Man, these are not that bad. I should probably get a real gold though. Guys, we are now at Bashai Masjid right here. Absolutely beautiful. We're about to pray Juma right now. And man, this, and you guys probably saw this from the older vlogs as well. We came here before, and this is just a work of art, like beautiful architecture. MashaAllah, guys, we are at Basha Masjid for Juma. Definitely one of the bucket list things that I need to be doing. Got the whole group with me. Man, so blessed to be here. And this architecture is just amazing. I'm about to pray Juma right now, inshallah. Look at the architecture. Guys, we just got done praying Juma and man, it's a really different experience hearing it in Urdu and this beautiful mosque and it was an amazing time and alhamdulillah <laughs> prayers are accepted and shall we go back home safely. May Allah make it easy. I mean, brother, I mean. No way, brother. What? Hey, guys, what you guys just saw were the belongings of the Prophet and all of his companions. The Khazrat Ali, peace be upon him, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I tried to show you as much as I can, but photography wasn't allowed. But it was absolutely amazing seeing the footprint, seeing like the turban, the clothes, the sandals, the hair. I really did not know Lahore, the Basha must have actually had it. But that's the first time you. I didn't know they had it, right? Mashallah. That was amazing. That's the first time I've seen yeah. It. yeah. I didn't know they had it. Really there's there's something like that in Turkey, to be honest. Really? They have something like that all in Turkey. You can go. Yeah, that was not over here. Guys, my time in Lahore is coming to an end. But right now, I'm eating Chinese food. As you guys can see, we got orange chicken. Rukat got a lot of different type of food. And Adam got hella good food, too. And it's hella good. So this beautiful meal is provided by, you guys know I'm the best, the Pakistani boy right here, Shavir. What's up, man? How What's you doing? Up, bro? Thank I'm you. so happy you guys are over here. Thank you, man. Appreciate I, I hope it. you guys are having fun. And yeah, eat away. Bro, he, I'm actually was about to leave. I saw him for five minutes. I was about to leave. He's like, no, no, don't worry. I'm going to book a bus for you. I'm going to figure out the whole he airport. Was, he was stressing. Yeah, I was stressing. He's like, yo, you're leaving. Like, really? I saw him for 30 seconds. I'm like, yo, I got to go. And he's like, no, no, I'm going to book everything. And don't worry about it. So inshallah, I'll let you guys know if I make it or die. If I go, it's, it's his fault. It's their fault. I'm stressing. He goes, inshallah. It's thanks to me. Don't make it. Inshallah. There you go. <laughs> Guys, I am about 10 minutes away to catch my bus to Islamabad to get my flight. Inshallah, I make it. This, I'm getting scared, but I want to say bye to my brother and Adam. Hey. Obviously, Shavir too. Thank you, guys. We had a good ass trip. Hope oh, you make it, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I make it. It was a good trip with you guys in Pakistan. Days. Good 10 days. Adam and Charles. Yeah, we're gonna see you in New York. Why you yeah, I just feel Adam. Who knows? Dude, I didn't even see you in New York. Like, I this I seen you what two years ago. You're in the same two, two, yeah, two yeah, years, two years ago. But yeah. hey, Shavir, thank you for the hospitality. Thanks so much for coming, man. Bro, if I don't make it, just remember this is. 
I love make it easy. Yeah. Mohsen bhai, thank I you. Make I love make it easy, man. Inshallah, I make it, but we'll Yo, see. Let us know what happens, right? Well, I'll let you know. <laughs> Guys, there's an update. There's an update. We're not taking the bus anymore. He has already, he has already missed his bus. So we're waiting for another car. I hope he makes it. Man, I love make it easy, man. Guys, I was just on set with Raheem and he was uh, doing his whole thing. And I said bye to Shavir. I said bye to the whole entire game. As you guys saw, I think I did. I don't know. Um, but I am very rushed because we missed the bus and I'm taking a private car. It takes about four or five hours to get to Islamabad. My flight's at 3 a.m. I have to be there at 1 and it's currently 8.30. So I don't know if I'll make it but Allah knows. After everything, I have made it to the airport. I honestly did not think that I would make it. So big shout out to Mohsen Bai and Shavir. Thank you for setting everything up. I honestly didn't think I was going to make it, but they made it happen. And I hope you guys enjoyed the Pakistan vlog. It was such a short trip, but it was jam packed. And I can't wait to travel again, maybe even Pakistan again, but I definitely want to travel more because the experience was amazing. So this marks the end of the Pakistan vlogs. I am going back home. I have a 32 hour flight. I don't ask me how that happened. Not a Sorry, not 32 hour flight. I have a 32 hour journey. Don't ask me how that happened. And it's one of the worst things that happened, but it was much booty. Like, I can't, that's all I can say. And with that, Allah make it easy. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Break down, break down. I don't wanna break down. I don't wanna break it.